cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it, the way she work it The way she whip it, whip it She's so savage, she ain't average, yeah You don't want none of this, <laughs> but you do Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making shrimp and grits with a Cajun gravy and look I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it I'm not about to do all the little talking in the theatrics because y'all know I'm animated as all get out see there I go I already started look we're gonna go ahead and boil us some chicken broth okay I like to boil my grits in chicken broth when I make this dish and that's two cups of chicken broth to a boil and then I'm gonna whisk in my one cup of grits Yes, I'm using instant grits. Don't disrespect the instant grits. They work just as well with a little love, all right? So I'm gonna whisk those in because we don't want any clumps. And then I'm gonna cover these grits with the lid and I'm gonna cook them on low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so the grits are done boiling and cooking. So now I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter. And I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of heavy cream. Y'all, game changer. It makes your grits so creamy and it's nothing better than creamy grits with shrimp and grits, okay? So I'm gonna whisk that together and then I'm gonna season it with just a little bit of salt and just a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk that all together and we're gonna move on to the shrimp. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get started on this shrimp and I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of olive oil to a heated pan. This pan is very hot and then I'm going to add in my raw, clean, peeled, devein shrimp. Alright, make sure that it is devein, make sure that it is raw, make sure that it is clean. Okay, we don't want nothing less, nothing more. And here in this small jar, I have my Cajun seasoning blend which is just a, basically a mixture of Old Bay and Creole seasonings and a little bit of paprika for coloring as well as coarse pepper. But don't worry, I got you covered down in the description box. And you're just gonna saute this up on both sides until the shrimp is well cooked. All right, so in the same skillet, we're gonna go ahead and start making our gravy. And the first thing you wanna do is add in your bell peppers. Now I chopped up previously green bell peppers as well as red bell peppers. And now I'm gonna add in my onion. I chopped up some of that as well. Okay, y'all trust me, this is gonna be so good. Okay, then you're gonna add in a knob of butter just to kind of get those little good pieces off of the skillet. And I'm also gonna add in about a tablespoon of cornstarch or flour either one that you choose is fine and from here you just want to combine all of those ingredients it's going to get kind of pasty kind of thick and that's exactly what you want because you want your gravy to thicken up and you're just going to combine all of that in your skillet and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, yeah, so this step right here is important that you do not add too soon. I always add the garlic in right at about the end of me sauteing because I don't want it to burn, all right? And then I'm gonna squeeze in some fresh lemon juice. This is totally optional, but it does give your gravy a nice little zing, okay? It's really good, all right? And then we are going to add in our heavy cream. So you just wanna add in only enough to cover the surface of the pan and you want to reduce the heat from medium high to low heat and then we're going to add in some more of that cajun and seasoning blend that's going to also help to flavor our gravy and give it a nice color and you're just going to stir that in to mix it and get it thickened Thank you. 
And to even this gravy out, we are going to add in about three to four tablespoons of chicken broth or as much as you would like or as little as you would like. And it's gonna look a little bit distorted, but honey, I promise you it's gonna come all together. I just wish y'all could smell my kitchen right now. It smells so divine. And you're just gonna slowly stir that together. I know it looks fast because I sped the video up, but slowly stir it. You don't wanna overwork this, okay? And get that all well incorporated. And then I'm gonna add in some paprika to darken this up just a little bit because I want a nice color. And then we are done with this gravy. Make sure you taste it so it's to your liking and adjust as needed. But honey, if you follow my instructions, it will be perfect. And at the very last moment, feel free to add in a few little bits of dried parsley or fresh parsley. Just to add a little bit of color. And now we are ready to plate, honey. And there you have it, your beautiful shrimp and grits with Cajun gravy. And honey, your house is gonna smell like the deep south and it's gonna be so good. Do y'all hear me? So let me know if you tried this recipe and you found it easy to follow in the comment section. Let me know what you think, okay? I wanna know all of your comments, all of your reactions. I enjoy reading them. And I enjoy sharing these recipes with you. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.